Healthcare officials in the Democratic Republic of Congo say the treatment of Ebola patients in Beni has resumed. The health ministry had temporarily halted all field activities following a rebel attack on a United Nations base on Friday. More than 200 people have died of Ebola since August. CGTN's Chris Okaringa has more. A rocket attack on a United Nations treatment center in the eastern city of Beni on Friday led to the temporary suspension of efforts to contain the Ebola outbreak. Rebels, suspected members of the Allied Democratic Forces, attacked just meters away from the base. World Health Organization staff were forced to evacuate the building. However, the Congolese Health Ministry has issued a statement saying that all field activities except vaccinations have since resumed. Vaccination involves door-to-door -door visits, tracking people who have come into contact with Ebola patients. That is risky due to the ongoing insecurity. Authorities say soldiers and UN peacekeepers are carrying out joint operations to hunt down the rebels who have seriously disrupted ongoing efforts to contain the spread of the virus in the eastern parts of the country. The Ebola outbreak is the worst in the DRC's history. At least 366 cases of the deadly virus have been recorded since August. Chris Sochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, earlier we spoke to Christian Lindmeyer, a spokesperson for the World Health Organization, about ongoing efforts to contain the Ebola outbreak in the DRC. What we know so far and through the evidence we have, it does not look like they were a deliberate target. It looks like they were caught in a crossfire. Uh, and let's not forget the shell luckily did not explode. But of course, for the team, um, the 20 people uh, who were basically impl implicated by this, uh, is, this was a heavy trauma anyway, and they were relocated to get also psychological support. On the other hand, though, uh, the other team members, um, all those around, continued operations, and that just shows the dedication of all the team and the staff involved on the ground to fight this Ebola outbreak. So here at WHO headquarters, we have been monitoring this outbreak very, very closely on a day-to-day -day basis. What we see so far is approximately the same amount of cases every week for a couple of weeks now, which is between 20 and 30 new cases each week, which of course means we have new cases every week, but it doesn't mean it's rising as such. Um, this is important, and it's important also to see that the emergency committee would be looking at a spread across borders. So WHO, here at WHO, we're monitoring very closely to see if there's anything going on in the neighboring countries. We are working with the neighboring countries to vaccinate, uh, to train healthcare workers, to work on having any possible response ready the moment in case any virus uh, would make it across the border. So in such a case, an emergency committee would most likely be convened again, and WHO is monitoring on a daily basis to see whether or not any conditions are fulfilled to do and to convene an emergency committee. The best surprise we can get is the support from the people on the ground, the support from the villagers, from the people to invite and to inform uh, their healthcare centers and their medical uh, staff when there's any suspicion of a new case, and to have the vaccination teams and the contact tracers go out and find the cases and vaccinate everybody who needs to be um, uh, treated. It's also important to be careful with informal health centers, because these seem to also be unfortunately a source of the spread of the disease. On the donor side, though, uh, the support has been really great. Uh, donors have been really generous. And they have been funding the work of WHO on the ground and together with the Ministry of Health, who has been shown a lot of support and a lot of leadership on the ground, the, uh, the supporting partners, the Médecins Sans Frontières or Alima, who are running the treatment centers, have been fantastic and we're very confident in fighting this outbreak.